looks way longer than it is, I promise. Um, I thought I would share my relationship with Kate through three memories. <laughs> okay. uh, the first time I ever met slash saw Kate was when I was at uh, Ren Callbacks, and she had missed my actual audition because she was with Reveille, her other acapella group. Um, and we were at Callbacks, and of course I was super nervous, a freshman, didn't know what to do. Callbacks are not easy for Wrens. We had already learned a song by rote, warmed up, um, sung through Barbara in parts, alone, blah, blah, blah. I was freaking out. And at the end of the callback, Thomas says, does anyone else want to hear anything else from these auditioners? And Kate raises her hand and says, can I hear Jane sing alone? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, freshman Jane thought immediately, oh my god, she hates me. <laughs> I'll never get into Renz. But I did get into Renz. <laughs> so about two months later, we went on Ren tour. And at this point, Kate and I had spoken, and I realized she didn't completely hate my guts. Um, and on the first night, we were assigned to make dinner together. And so we went to the grocery store, we were making chicken parmesan. <laughs> and we got all this stuff, we, oh, I was excited to be riding in Kate's car, which of course is a BMW for those of you who don't know Kate. Um, and we get back to the house, and we're all unloading the groceries, and I pick up the last bag, and as I take it out of the car, it smashes on the ground. Of course, the bag I had had all the spaghetti sauce and all the balsamic vinegar. So it was like Italian murder scene, like on the driveway. <laughs> so I clean it up, I'm posing it down. <laughs> Everyone else has gone inside and Kate says, get back in the car, we're going back to get all the stuff. And of course, me again says, oh my God, I thought we were friends and now she'll never like me. <laughs> Fast forward to Ren tour this year, which was last weekend. Um, we had spent the evening at Thomas's house singing, visiting with alums, and I had been complaining all weekend because I had a choreography project due the day that we got back, and I hadn't done any of the choreography. And about one in the morning, Kate pulls me inside and says, it's time to do choreography. <laughs> what are you talking about? But then we did. <laughs> we choreographed together on the floor of Thomas's living room, and I bet if I asked Tata to do the mono dance with me, she would do it. I'm not going to ask. Okay, no. But yeah. <laughs> but she knows the dance. So it's safe to say that while we may have gotten a rough start, or at least in my mind it was a rough start, um, Kate is one of my best friends in dance. Her professional attitude and her incredible ear have added so much to our group, and I know we're all so thankful. Um, she arranged an all-girls version of Barbara Allen so that we could continue to sing that song this year, which was great. Uh, who am I going to look at tour pictures and cry with next year? Uh, <laughs> so I wish you the best of luck in everything you do with graduation and beyond. Mm -hmm. you. giving away, but uh, talking about Jen. Jen. Just put her in the middle. Yep. Yep. You're in the middle. You're in the middle. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when I first met Jen as a baby Wren, um, I showed up to rehearsal and there were cookies on the piano and I was like, oh my god, they love food too. This is great. Um, so so Jen, Jen took up the position of Wren Mama and it's been really great. Wren Mama part two, if any of you know Hannah. So um, <laughs> it's been wonderful getting to know her in Wren's and she's such an encouraging woman. Um, would actually, when we realized we weren't going to have men this semester, she was one of the first people to say, guys, we're going to do this. We're going to do this, and we're going to do it really well, and we're going to be really awesome, and we are really awesome. Um, so she's been a very, very encouraging senior, <laughs> um, and someone that I look up to, especially this past friend tour, um, we were able to bond. That's, we're the car. This, we, we rode <laughs> we along together um, from 12.45 a.m. until 3 a.m. We were together, awake the whole time, just talking about everything. Everything is possibly is. Um, so things that I'm going to miss this year are your encouraging attitude, your beautiful face, and your lovely hair. Um, <laughs> and also, uh, we had the pleasure of living across the street from each other this year. Yeah. And so at 2 in the morning, there was a Facebook post that said, needs chocolate now. <laughs> and I was able to bring her chocolate, and we were, able to walk, <laughs> we were able to walk to rehearsal together, and it was just a lot of fun. And I just, I love you very much, and I'm going to miss you very much. Yeah, I'm adding to this. <laughs> Part two. Um, I've only been in Rennes since the end of January, beginning of February. So I haven't been in the group that long, but one of the people that's made me feel totally comfortable, not that everyone hasn't, is, is Mama Duck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, definitely one of my like favorite moments thus far, you know, Rennes tour on the way home. At, you know, one in the morning, we were sitting in a gas station, and we're just 
cracking up. I'm like, how are we going to stay awake? How are we going to stay awake? And then we saw McDonald's and we had to go through the drive through and we got chicken fingers and coffee and it was great. And we just, you know, it was, Jen is so easy to talk to and she's just always, I know she's always going to be there for not only Ren, but for me and for Steph. And we're going to miss her face so much and her personality that's just huge and her beautiful voice. And so we're just going to miss her. All right, I have the pleasure of giving away our senior and president, Allie Hart. Do you hold these? I think. Okay. If you guys were here last year, I gave away Austin, and um, I still apologize for calling your cherry bagel a jelly donut. But hopefully I won't say anything like that. Um, what do I say about Allie, okay? Um, well, I'll just go with some fun memories. Um, I remember when I was first in Rents, it was after like our first rehearsal or something, and Allie and I are talking in the hallway, and she's like, you know, the peanut butter mile's coming up soon, and I was like, what is that? And she's like, oh, we all get naked and run a mile, but we're just covered in peanut butter. <laughs> and, and she said it, she says these things so seriously that I believed her that this is actually going to happen, and I was horrified. And I was like, what, I was like, what did I get myself into? Like, what kind of group is this? <laughs> but then I learned that was just Alex. And, and then, um, let's see, other memories. Like on Ren tour this year, um, we were at the church and we were practicing in the practice room and we were all, you know, singing the song and then all of a sudden we hear, <gasps> and we're just like, oh, what is this? What did Allie do? And she's like, I forgot a certain undergarment that's necessary to wear. So, yeah. She, <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much Allie in a <laughs> And then there are times like when we were driving back from Rentor and we went to Taco Bell. She appreciates Taco Bell as much as I do, which is great. And there was also that moment at the concert last year, this time last year, when we were singing that one song, She's Like the Swallow, but that didn't come out right. So that was great. But anyway, I figured all of these things are amazing and embarrassing. Yeah, they're embarrassing, but it's great because I say them, I say them with love because I love Allie to death. And what are we going to do in Wrens without her livening up every situation possible? So yeah, I'm going to miss you so much. And Allie is moving to California after graduation. She's moving back to California to start a career there. So we are all going to miss her so much. And yeah, thank you. And I have the privilege of giving away Lindsay Conway. So Lindsay is a pretty awesome person and I thought that mere words couldn't do justice so I wrote a poem. And it's, it's no, um, it's no like that. Dr. Seuss or anything like that, but okay. When I met Lindsay, I thought she was quiet, and then she turned out to be quite a riot. <laughs> with pithy one-liners and who me looks after, this girl will have you in stitches with laughter. But more than that, Lindsay is quite the musician. She hits her high Bs with easy precision. Conducting wrens, she showed off her skill. Need a good leader? Lindsay fits the bill. When things got a little bit hairy and suddenly wrens was all women, how scary. Did Lindsay balk, weep, panic, or sob? No, she pulled through and did a fine job. Within two weeks' time, we had a new set of music for ladies, and we did not fret. She's also, um, Lindsay is more than a fabulous conductor. She's also a friend, and I'm glad that we've got her. My favorite Lindsay moment? This year on tour, we played psychiatrist. Do I need to say more? <laughs> <laughs> a tamer memory, but just as awesome, bonding over Hardy and Rickman and Austin. Yeah. After graduation, oh dreaded G word, she'll go off to do greater things in this world. With knowledge of information and library science, this literature queen will give plenty of guidance. A dear friend like Lindsay I'll never forget. We're proud to see her ride off into the sunset. <laughs> We're going to miss her, we might even cry, but we know that we'll see her again by the by. 
What more is there left to say at the end? Except Godspeed. Fare you well, dear friend. And now I actually am going to cry. <laughs>